Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'll be checking out some of the top new mods for seven days. Everything from new vehicles to new maps, new weapons, and even new trader quests and much more. Oh, and by the way, since this always comes up when I make these types of videos, there are links in the description to my video on how to install mods and a link to all of these mods. Some of these are from 7 days to Dive mods.com and others are from Nexus Mods. On Nexus Mods, you'll need to make an account to download the mods, but despite the fact that they solicit you for donations less and right you can download all of these mods for free so let's jump right in and check out this apache helicopter first here we go man i was just playing around with this a little bit and it is it's quite agile this is more agile than the the some other helicopter mods that i've played with in the past the speed seems to be really nice on it and one thing i did notice is that the cockpit the the player is actually in the back seat i'm not sure if that's realistic or not but it does help kind of force the camera back. Uh, with these really long vehicles in seven days, it's good to have your character kind of centered inside of it because otherwise, if I was in the front seat, this would be your maximum zoomed out camera view. So by sitting in the rear seat, I can kind of force the camera back just a little bit. Now, the real treat with this thing is that it actually shoots rockets. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, if you would be so kind, get us some zombies down here in the movie theater somewhere. Who do we want to pick on today? How, how about Tommy? Yeah, Tommy's a good guy to pick on. Here, get a couple Tommies down there. Okay, and back to me now. I'm um, <laughs> stuck in the trees over here. Luckily, I've, I've hit a couple of trees. It didn't take off too much damage. I don't know if this is quite as sensitive as the vehicles are these days. Okay, so somehow there's a way to shoot rockets. I, I probably need to look up the mod page and figure out how to do that. Let's see, controls are the same as the gyrocopter, except W is lift. Also can be unlocked with crafting skill magazines, just like normal at level 100 though. So this is definitely a very much late game type of thing. Missiles can be fired by pressing G. You have to have helicopter missile ammo in your inventory. Okay, that's good to know. Alternatively, number keys to fire each weapon individually. Numbers one and two, okay. So we're gonna need, it said, helicopter missiles. Okay, here's your parts right here. Here's the bundle that it was just talking about and helicopter missile ammunition. Yes, there is a crafting recipe for this. This is also unlocked with the um, vehicle magazines, it looks like. Looks like it's the same recipe for a normal rocket. Okay, I'm not sure if it, it was my inventory or the helicopter inventory. So I'll put half in here and we'll figure out how that works. All right. It's gonna be difficult because I got a pitch down that's gonna make me go forward, but let's just do this and oh, that is so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. okay, we're gonna crash a little bit. Yeah, did you see all those like custom particle loaders? Uh, unfortunately, this mod requires five additional mods. You have to install all of them. Luckily, they're all very small, easy to download. Just kind of drop them into your mods folder and it should all work just like this. Let's try it again. This is just using G. Wow, that is so cool, man. Like the lighting on it. Okay, and then let's just get some elevation here, some altitude. And if I hit two, okay, that's the right side and one is the left side. Okay, so you can individually kind of alternate what side you want to use. Hey, cameraman, cue me up some more zombies down there. Oh yeah, these guys have no idea what's about to hit them here. I, although G is kind of an inconvenient button. Let's see how we can do though. Yes. Oh, what a cool strafing run and crash. Although it didn't really take any damage. Wow, man, that's the coolest thing I think I've ever played with here. Let's just go look at the devastation. Oh, I just leveled up like three times, so it, it was definitely counting those kills as mine. Yeah, okay, so it does a lot of block damage, like where the rockets impact. Okay, I thought there was more spread on where the rockets were landing, but anyway, wow, that was fun. What a way to kick things off, huh? All right, moving on. Scratch that. If I don't take this and shoot at a skyscraper or something, I'll never forgive myself. Okay, we're in Navas Gain right now. We're gonna go way down to the southeastern portion of the map where the desert city is, or or not. There's just radiation over here. Um, <laughs> let's go north, go north. Here we go, that's what we're looking for. Oh, and it is definitely pulling them out of my inventory, not the helicopter inventory. Okay, long distance test number one against Deshong Tower. Rockets are inbound. Looks like you can see, oh, there are custom sounds as well, I think. Yeah, you can um, see the explosions, but from a distance it... Oh no, the closer you get, I think, you can now see the rockets as they fire. 
All right, we're at very, very close range now. Let's just pour a whole bunch of rockets in here and see if we can blow a massive hole in the side of the wall. You know, not really. If I had to make some custom modifications to this, I might go in and see if I can increase the block damage, maybe, um, maybe like quadruple it, because, you know, you want to have some fun, right? If I can't one-shot some concrete blocks, what, what kind of fun is that, right? It's still fun. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> look at this. Yeah, yeah, it's working well, I'd say. Oh, look out. Okay, I want to get a view from, like, inside as well and see what this looks like. <laughs> That's cool. And, um... I think I might be out of rockets. Yep, we're all out. <laughs> That's 250 rockets for you. Is that enough? Okay, so we've probably looked at the coolest mod on the list so far. I, I kicked things off with a bang there, but I didn't want to disappoint anyone. But we do have another helicopter to look at. And there it is. Oh, massive lag spike there when I pulled that in. But, um, ah, wow, that is looking snazzy. Okay, admittedly, I don't know what's going on. On my screen, it's red. On the other screen, it's white. But it... It looks really cool. You know what? This looks like the helicopter. It kind of looks like the same helicopter from um, Rebirth mod. I'll, I'll pull up a picture of what that one looks like, like an old thumbnail that I had that helicopter on. You know what? So Seven Days is really missing helicopters. I mean, look at this. We have helicopter landing pads, and there's one of them in every trader. There's one right there. Why don't we have helicopters yet? You know, just for the fun of it, here's one of the helicopter landing pads over at a trader hue, and I did confirm when I was at TwitchCon, they're gonna turn this into a fast travel. It's happening. So you're gonna come to the trader in alpha 22 or 23 maybe, or beyond or whatever, I don't know, but you're gonna come into the trader, you're gonna go up to this thing over here and you're gonna be able to zip over to another trader instantly. But I think they should just add a helicopter in. Okay, where did I park my helicopter? Here it is, okay. And there's another thing that we can do with this. Yes, so this helicopter is made by, I think it's Tempest is the author for this mod. You'd have to double check. I'll, I'll correct myself in editing if I'm incorrect there. But um, Tempest has made all the other really, really good vehicle mods. I have a couple of them installed. Let's just take a peek. There's the Hummer EV right there. And there's the EV NR. I don't know what the difference is quite. Is this like a convertible or something or... Uh, yeah, something to that effect anyway. And I think I also installed the Mercedes. Let's just get the vehicles. Yeah, the, the Mercedes-Benz Act... Actros? Actros? Oh, that's not like the Mercedes I was expecting. That's a semi-truck. That is still really, really cool though. Yeah, so Tempest makes all of these amazing vehicle mods. They're by far, I would say, the best vehicle mods that are available in the game right now. There are... They're like sports cars and Lamborghinis and Challengers and now Hummers. There's a nice like um, Ford pickup truck. They're just awesome. I, I can't play without these in like a, a mostly vanilla type of playthrough. But the latest one or one of the latest ones was this helicopter here, which I have not tried out yet. It has some really good helicopter sound effects. Okay, before I take off, though, I gotta sort out this paint situation. It's driving me nuts that I'm, I'm white on one side and I'm red on the other. Uh, it's a perfect game with no bugs. Let's go with um, lime green. Okay, now that's definitely working on both sides. I'm more satisfied with that. Okay, let's go. Oh my. You know, I was talking about the agility in the Apache. This is unmatched. Okay, we can really move in this thing. Ooh, it's... um. It's, in fact, it's a little unstable here. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> a little sneak peek at, uh, we'll, we'll do the, yeah, we'll just do this right now. This is, uh, the next mod on the list here. I have, a, I have pretty much all of these installed at the same time. I'll let you know if I run into any issues doing that, but, um, so far so good here. This is, uh, uh, give me a second here, I'll pull up the stuff. Here you go, this is called Lepers Flooded Cities. It says forest only, I don't know if there's another version or not, but ever since I saw this come onto the workshop uh, on November 28th, I've wanted to try it out, and this is my first time doing so. So let's kind of fly around here and see what's going on. It's basically a normal map, but under like three meters of water, and as far as I read in the description for the mod, there, there is a little bit of difficulty with getting zombies to spawn, like, um, you know, like regular, like wandering hordes, I think, and just regular wilderness zombies don't really spawn as much in this area, so it's a little quieter. But I do think that they will spawn inside the POIs. Wow, this thing is like hyper agile. It's actually 
It's a little difficult to get used to, but yep, set her down nice and easy there. And I just want to go in through this POI. This is actually a good one to do because there's a good underground portion to it. Yes, here we go. Oh, yeah, see, the zombies do spawn in the POI. Let's just have a sip of water there. And I presumably they'll just wake up and start fighting you too, right? Or... Oh, do I, I have the AI off, that's why that happened. But yeah, they'll they'll definitely start fighting you. Okay, so if you were gonna do looting and stuff, you'd have to snake right through here and try to, you know, <laughs> top off your oxygen. This actually comes with two other mods. One of them is called like better mobs spawning underwater. That might be a required mod to get the zombies in POIs to spawn underwater like this. And there was another one called lepers better swimming, so I think it gives you a little bit more speed, maybe a little bit more momentum swimming. I'm not entirely sure. It feels pretty much like vanilla to me. Yeah, I don't know. I think it just adds uh, some element of immersion. Maybe there was some kind of like a dam that um, flooded and, and the whole region was flooded or maybe the, the nuclear war that happened after the zombie apocalypse caused the polar caps to melt and the sea level has risen. I don't know, it'd be really cool for like a role-playing experience if you ask me. Looks like the traders are underwater as well. <laughs> Let's check on Jen in here and see. Are, are you dry? Have you found a, a dry patch over here, Jen? Jeez. Yeah, I saw a boat like in the description for the mod. Yeah, here it is right here. There's a, a boat here. I'm not sure what mod that is. I'd have to do a quick search for a boat mod. All right, let's head back to dry land. There's another mod that I want to try while I have these vehicles down. Let's just clear out some real estate over here. And the mod I want to try is, uh, by the way, these are all paints that are specific for Tempest's vehicles, like those ones over there. It's another separate mod. Okay, so the next one here is going to be the HD truck elevator. There we go. And it's that simple. No way, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so it's a little floaty because I didn't really attach it to anything, but if you built up a base around this, let me try that. Get some variable shapes here and we'll make a little bit of a frame and just see how everything flushes up. All right, I got myself a little, like, just a framework built out there, you know, basically simulating what I might do in a real playthrough there. This vehicle is a little bit too big for the elevator, I think. I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Just hop out, hit the button. And we're going straight up. That is actually awesome. I really like that. That's a great little addition for all of you base builders out there. That might be something I look into getting on the multiplayer server too. Yeah, so the question is, how do you make one of these? It's called HD Truck Elevator. It's made in the workbench. It uses a lot of steel, a lot of iron. That's for the big one though. I never, I didn't try the big one. Okay, that's, wait a minute. Isn't that the same size as the other one or... Oh, no, 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 no. It goes up further. Okay, so that's the distinction there. The 10x one is 10 blocks tall, 5x for the 5 blocks tall variant. Expensive to make, but pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, there's one thing we didn't try with regard to the Mercedes truck over here. The Benz Actros trailer. Wait, trailer placeable, and then we have a trailer, which is perhaps a vehicle part? No, it's not a vehicle mod, at least. Let's put this one down, and uh-oh, we did definitely get an NRE error on that one. So, there's a variant that I saw. Oh, you know what? This was, this was in the mod description, too, wasn't it? I remember that. There it goes. Yeah, it said, basically, if you had the truck... I'll do that again. So initially I'm having an NRE, a null reference exception error up here when it's in my hotbar. If I move it, oh, excuse me, <laughs> it's, it's being a little wonky right now. If I move it to a different hotbar slot, it says it'll work after that. I'm getting mixed results on this though. Let's try that slot there. No, no, I think, <laughs> I don't think it likes me. Let's just try the one. We successfully got the one here. I want to try it out. All right, here we go. Here's what I was talking about before, how when you, you're in a very long vehicle like this, your camera gets forced into the back of the vehicle, which is, whoa, there's furniture inside. Can I get inside? No, really? Wh what is all that furniture back there for if I can't use it? What if there was a working workbench back there and everything you could totally do like a complete nomad style of playthrough? Oh my God, like a working oven. You could put storages back there, your bedroll. No way. Oh, that is like the top of my wish list right now. 
Okay, so this is really cool. It's actually very, very fast as well. Yeah, so with the, the, the NREs that we were getting there, I'd say just, if you're going to do it, stick with just the regular trailer. How do you like that trick right there? Yeah, the, the regular truck without the trailer. But for all you uh, trucking simulator fans out there, this might be just the vehicle that you're looking for. Hello, Arlene. <laughs> oh, jeez, poor Arlene. Just got mowed down. Okay, speaking of Arlene and all the, the blood stains here, let's try a couple of different mods here. Okay, so if you've ever watched a mod type of showcase video from me, you know that I love Izayo's weapons mods. If I could get my head on straight here. There we go. So... Uh, Izayo has released a whole bunch of these. There's like the, the shotgun pack, the 308 pack, the 556 pack, and now the latest version is the 9mm pack. You know, there is all together, I bet there's probably like 40 brand new weapons. And I'm telling you what, guys, these are the best weapon mods in the game. These are exceptionally high quality. The sound is good. The reload animations are spot on. The hand placement, uh, reloading, everything is good. And furthermore, you can see all of the mods on these weapons. Okay, so this is the with the drum mag currently modified. Take the drum mag off, and that's the regular magazine. So it looks like the drum mag and the extended mag kind of look the same on this specific model here. And we can listen to the sounds here a little bit. So that's with the silencer. And if we take the silencer off, we'll try a couple of different mods here. Yeah, you can definitely see the reflex sight and the... It looks like there's a muzzle break on the end of it, even though I did the extended barrel. And there's now a new sound, which you would expect, but you can't deny it. Just having those crisp reload animations and like the hand is actually touching the barrel. There's some other mods out there where the hand doesn't line up with the, the front. You know, you know, it's like floating in the player's hands. Doesn't look great. Okay, we've got... Uh, I'm not going to go through all the names on these because they're just like letters basically but I'll let off a couple rounds of each of these so you can hear what they sound like yep these are just as high quality as the rest of them. Really awesome bundle of mods that Azayo is putting together there. Okay, I have three more, but I have a special way that we need to test these out. We need some zombies out here. Yes, it's called blood spill effect. Basically, you know when you run over zombies and blood gets splattered everywhere? Well, this apparently applies that to bullets. So we're gonna test that out right here in a second. All right, Bo, thank you for volunteering. Let's... Oh, that is so cool. Why? Don't they have this in the base game where there's just a little bit of blood comes out and it actually seems to legitimately like drip out from the area that you hit. Okay, we're going to need some more volunteers. Thank you very much, Bo. Oh, this is an interesting weapon here. This is like, um, it reminds me of like a Sten submachine gun from like all the World War II games or, you know, from like actual World War II, but <laughs> I've become familiar with it through video games, but let's just do this a little bit. Oh yeah. Look at that. The blood is actually squirting out of his his head and all over the ground. This is insane. Okay, good thing I put this at the end of the video, or at least the middle, because this is, like, ripe for demonetization. All right, let's do it. Yep, finally got our first loot bag there. Are we all good? Wow, what a massacre here. Okay, we've got to try it with explosives, I think. And it's also worth noting that there are a couple of versions of this mod. This is the regular version, the standard volume of blood, we'll say. There's a version that lasts for 30 seconds, and there's a version that will last indefinitely until the corpse despawns. And this is that's this is the one that I'm on right here. So the blood should stay here until Bo finally despawns. Let's just do an experiment here. If I erase him with this gun, the blood is erased with him. There's another version that adds double the amount of blood, so even more blood and gore, and I'm not gonna be testing that one just because I'm scared of YouTube. Well, let's see what this does anyway. I think I threw that right behind all of them. Nope, that was pretty good. Oh, and the blood, it's everywhere. Man, okay, I'm I'm never turning this one off. This is just gonna stay in the mods folder for all time. Worth mentioning though, on cameraman angle, 
we don't have any blood. I do have the mod installed on both server and client, and uh, I'm just not seeing it over here. So maybe this is not necessarily a multiplayer friendly mod. I'm not sure. You'd have to do some testing on that yourselves. The uh, truck over here is having a good time. <laughs> just, just hovering around all by itself. I just heard Bo moaning. Are one of you alive? Yes, this bow over here is still alive. <laughs> He's got no arms or legs. Oh, it's crazy. All right, time for a bit of a map cleanup. I'm starting to get some lag. I think some of these vehicles are just, uh, that, that trailer truck there is definitely glitchy. I would definitely avoid the trailer section of the trailer truck. I think the actual truck up there is doing fine, but let's just clean things up. We'll do a kill all all, and that should make quite a mess of things around here. <laughs> but it gets rid of those glitchy vehicles at least. Okay, but on the topic of vehicles, we have one more to go through. I just saw this recently and I thought it was awesome. We have a an armored SWAT vehicle, which, oops. Yeah, I might have done the spawn 25 and not spawn one. That's gonna definitely mess your game up. Yeah, if I never post a video again, it's probably because my house caught on fire. What is going on here? <laughs> Oh jeez. I think these are these are like what are these nuclear powered trucks or something? This crater is massive. I broke my leg falling into it. There we go. We made a full recovery. So that's what happens when you spawn 25 SWAT trucks in the same spot. Okay. Well, good to know, I guess. Let's just try that again over here. Here we go. <laughs> just a regular SWAT truck. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I'm I'm politely requesting that we get like a military variant of this because um I think, whoa, you can get right in the back. Can, can I get inside? <gasps> you can get right inside. That is really cool. Yeah, I want some military variants of this, like just, you know, uh, desert camo, forest camo. That'd be kind of cool. Good for the role playing aspect of things as well. Let's try and see what this, this is the custom one right here. Oh, okay. It's just shiny. I think that's the only difference that I can tell so far. And so on the description, it said, that, that we have a couple of things here. We have lights with F, okay? Headlights and top lights. And we also have a siren. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's take this one for a bit of a test drive and see how it handles, just not in the crater. It's fast. I'd say it goes about the same as the 4x4. Sounds like the 4x4 as well. Okay, we have to check on crafting though. The SWAT vehicle is made the same way that they're all made, I guess. Level 70 in vehicle magazines to unlock it. And you have to craft the the SWAT body and that's it. So the SWAT body is going to require, I would say a pretty standard amount of resources here. You're gonna combine that with wheels, engine, battery and such. And you can make either the custom one, which is shiny or the regular one. Very cool. Okay, just a few more on the list. Okay, I just spawned back into Nava's game here. There's a mod called Path Smoothing and I thought this sounded very interesting. So typically when a zombie runs up to you, I think we've all seen it. They're gonna, they're gonna follow the grid path. So if someone came from that vending machine over there, they would go like diagonal 45 degree, they would hit the grid, they would run up here, and then they would, you know, do 45 degree angles. Basically, they won't run dynamically like you can, like zigzagging like this. And this mod is supposed to fix that, and it definitely does. They're, they're not sticking to the grid path. It'll be a lot easier if I get a rad down here, get some dev privileges activated and we'll get a skateboarder radiated. Actually, yeah, he has a pretty fast run animation, but Arlene has the fastest. Arlene and businessman. Arlene radiated. Let's see if we can kite her it around a little bit. It's kind of the perfect spot. It's it's like a chessboard, you know? They'll either follow the grid line this way or precisely diagonal. But you can see he, they are taking like the, sh the, the shortest pathway to the player basically. Okay, we're gonna die here. Give me a second. Which it just, it feels a lot more realistic and y you've all probably had that scenario where you're trying to hit a zombie and then all of a sudden they, they do this like herky jerky juke move and you miss because they're following the grid lines. Get out of here, stupid birds. Right, okay, so th this is no good to us unless we do a head-to-head -head comparison. Okay, I'm hoping that this view here will help show us what's going on here. So we got a couple of Steves there in the bottom. 
not Steve, yo. And you can pretty much see right now how everyone is going to take a perfect diagonal approach to us. And if I head over there, let's see what they do now. Yeah, you see how Arlene, she's not taking a direct line to me. She's following the grid until she can cut it 45 degrees and go diagonally to me. And the zombie yo's are doing the same thing. They're going straight along the grid. Even Steve on the right side of the fence there doing the same thing. Okay, so that's kind of cool to witness firsthand. But I did want to showcase that because it's those little things sometimes that can make all the difference. Okay, so for the next mod, we're going to have to go visit one of the traders because Cautious Pancake has been putting a lot of work into this mod right here. It adds, I think it's five additional quest types right now. Let's see if any of them are available as a tier one. Yes, okay, clear plus food, speed clear, defend safe house and supply drop actually all of these are new okay so i'm not going to go through every one of them i will link cautious pancakes channel below and you can search his channel and look at the description for all of these i want to try the go. defend so safe house down. quest at the well, cook's right residence here. and you know we don't need to fuss around here we're just gonna blitz through this basically okay defend the safe house top right corner here we are on a timer perhaps wait is that timer to be attacked we also have optional find the supplies stay within okay so technically i don't think we're here to kill zombies there are zombies here though okay here's the courier satchel this was just optional i don't know if you get a better reward or what the deal is if you get that but it does appear that now we have a bit of a timer to wait for until we get attacked presumably that's giving you some time to kind of shore up the doors and and get a plan going for your defense. We'll just see how many people attack us. Okay, here we go, five more seconds and we'll get an idea of what's going on here. Let's just get the bird's eye view and see what happens. Okay, we got one, two, three, four zombies that spawned in. Maybe more are trickling in as we go. In fact, that is definitely the case. Remember, this is a tier one quest. Tier one, day one, level one, and there are a lot of zombies that are coming through here. It's like a mini horde night. Okay, oh, look at the top right corner there. Kill any zombie, 12 of 25. So basically you have to stay within the confines of the house and kill 25 zombies here. That's kind of intense. I really like it though. Okay, we got one more to kill. Kill him. And that, I think that should have shut everything off there. I think we're good now. We can return to Trader and see what kind of a reward we get for all that jazz. Hopefully that's something good because well, that could burn through a lot of ammo, reward. especially in the early I game. And it kind of looks just like the standard quest loadout, the, the quest reward stuff here. So adding a ton of variety to questing. I really like that there are people out there that are putting the work in, putting the effort in, trying to come up with some original questing ideas within the sort of framework, the structure of the game, because there are certainly limitations to what you can do okay but that's it for mods within the game there is one more thing kind of in the options menu that i want to go over and i'm really excited to show you this okay and here are the options so when you start a new game or when you're loading one of your save games you get the basic options here you get the advanced options multiplayer options we're all familiar with that stuff but this mod um just it's very simple name there extra game options <laughs> this mod adds two more options windows to the game i'm not going to go through every tooltip here for you zombie rage on or off a lot of people don't like zombie rage headshot only that's your romero mod kind of setting right there wandering horde frequency this is something that i love because I want to be able to set wandering hordes to much more frequent and I want to make them a lot bigger as well pretty much as big as they come right there I would probably roll with 10x sleeper infested mode sounded pretty good to me my puppy is sleeping in the background I'm not sure if you could hear this he has very vibrant dreams so if you hear him in the background um <laughs> i'm not gonna wake him up all right we're almost done with this video yeah we're pretty much done here Qu trader quests per tier you know five quests and you can move on to the next quest here kind of accelerate your playthrough or dramatically slow things down 30 quests to go from tier one to tier two and so on wow you can affect the trader price as well if you think the traders are a little bit op oh my god you can you can alter what's in the trader's inventory you can alter what kind of quest rewards in case you you're one of those people that do think that traders are really overpowered tools weapons and mods in loot just turn that straight off so it's basically crafting only feral sense range wow man 
I really hope that the author of this mod, let's just pull this up. All right, Wookie Nookie. Wookie Nookie makes some really good mods. Um, Wookie Nookie, I hope you continue developing this and adding even more options if that's even possible. Uh, great job on this mod. Like I said, you're basically getting 17 new game options. This is a 17 in one mod. You don't have to fuss around as much with folders and incompatibilities between mods. You could probably just set this in the menu options and forget it. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you. Those are my top new mods for Seven Days to Die. Let me know what mods you're playing with or any mods that you want me to check out, and I will see you hopefully in the next video. Oh, yeah. Get those stretches in, bud. Oh, it feels good. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.